Hi, this is Miss Conley, and I'm going to tell you about spring scales, which we'll be using in class in the next week or two. Spring scales are a measurement of force. They're, um, they're also marked so that you can measure mass of things because it has grams on, on some of these measurements. You can measure weight with them, but there's so many other different ways to do it that are more accurate. Even just with a standard balance, you could get a better accurate measurement than the spring scales. And we have digital scales in the classroom anyway, so we don't need to worry about using this to measure how heavy something is. Please use the digital scales instead. But one thing that these do measure very nicely, and the reason why, the only reason why we really use them, is that they have this unit of measurement called a Newton. Of course, that's named after Sir Isaac Newton, who uh, has his loss of motion. And this is a force, and you know, force is kind of a big thing for the loss of motion. So they, they named the unit of measurement for force after Sir Isaac Newton. So we will talk about the units of measurement as Newtons. These have got different strengths. For instance, this one is 2.5 Newtons, very, very weak or lightweight. This one is 5 and then 30 newtons, and then 50 newtons. That means the one with the smaller number takes very little force to move, and one of the one with the larger number has a lot, of, it needs a lot of force to move it, okay? So what you do need to do is pick a spring scale that's appropriate for the item that you're trying to move. If it's a small item, start small. If it's a large item, you can start with the larger ones, okay? Just think about it for a second before you start. And if you're wrong, go get the other one. So, how to use a spring scale. You can hang, hang things from it, I did mention that, but that's usually when you're looking at, like, the mass of an object. There's some things with force that you can do by hanging an object from them, but generally what you're going to do is you're going to drag things. Let's put these away. And we're going to talk about this one. You hook something to the hook, and then you drag it across the surface. And as you drag it across the surface, you need a partner. One of you really focus on just dragging nice and smooth. The other one, as the item is being dragged, needs to watch the indicator and get a good guesstimate as to what number they're going to assign to this. It's a scale, um, and, and like anything, like with the uh, graduated cylinders and beakers and stuff, sometimes you have to do a little bit of estimation. So do your best for it, but the, the prime thing is to make sure that you just drag smoothly across the surface. You can drag straight across something, or you can drag it up a hill. So there's different ways that we can use the spring scale. One thing I also want to mention is kind of like the care and feeding of your spring scales. Um, it's a little difficult to show while it's down on the ground like this. However, if you, ha if you hold the spring scale upright, this little indicator here, it needs to be right on that black line. It's kind of like the zero line or the start line. So when you hold it, you need to look. And if it's not, the trick to fixing it, which is called calibration, is this screw at the top. So you turn the screw a little bit, and I always get it wrong first, so then I have to turn it the other direction. You turn the screw a little bit, and it will either lift this up or lower it down. And just keep watching the indicator, again, as it's straight up and down. Turn the screw a little bit more, turn the screw a little bit more, until that indicator is right even. The top of that indicator is right even with that black line. When it's there, you are ready to start working. Also, please make sure you check the indicator quite often as you're using it so that it, they get out of calibration very quickly. So keep checking it, make sure the line and the top of the indicator is right lined up to, to each other and then you can keep using it. Okay, um, we do have other things that we will be using. We have digital force meters and such, but we need to start with this one first, okay? Have a good day.